Hey guys, it's Pinlet, it's Magic 3 and today I'm doing a review on the Figure Art Zero Piccolo. So like the length of this box is like nine and a half inches, and the width is also nine and a half inches. It's a huge box. This is probably like a it's it's a gigantic figure too. Yeah. Oh my god. Okay. Yeah. So well, it's pretty awesome. Let's get into the unboxing. Okay, here he is out of the packaging. Let's see, he. It's a really cool figure. He has his cape flying in the wind from the blast. You can see this is the version from the anime because he has a blue belt thing. That's awesome. The green of his skin is really like glossy, but only his face and his hands. Here, let me zoom up on this. See, it's really glossy on his face and his hands, not his actual arms. This figure has an extra hand as an accessory. This is him doing the special beam cannon. And that, the hand he has right now, is him just doing a normal blast. So how to interchange that is you just kind of, I like to twist as I pull. And then it comes out like that. And you can just interchange them like so. So here he is with the special beam cannon for a hand instead of the normal blast hand. Let's go into the paint on this hand. See it's it's like a it's really like metallic and glossy and then has these black fingernails. So it looks really cool with both of the interchangeable parts. That's pretty awesome. He has a huge cape. And it's like, while this is plastic, like a solid like plastic, this is almost like really brittle and um, it feels like how a wall feels right after you it's first coat of paint. The base has this smoke on it. I don't know if it's smoke or dust. But it gives off a cool effect. And here's the pegs for his feet. Which insert like... Like this. That's pretty awesome. The paint on his face is really cool. And the sculpt, you can see it goes all the way through his mouth. The little lines under his eyes. His ears. All of the little lines on his arms. The wrinkles with his costume. It's all really cool. The sculpt on the cape is really cool. Like the way it moves and like the shadow effect that they have on it makes it look really awesome. You can see what's cool is that they sculpted a little bit of his a little bit of his shirt under there. You can see that little this little green part under there. So it's cool that they sculpted that knowing that this cloth armor piece is a separate from his actual costume, his purple one. So to the top of his head it is about six and a half inches and the length of his cape is about four and a half inches. The shadowing on his cape and his pants, it all looks really nice with this like dark blue purple against the actual purple. 
Oh, I didn't notice this. The the green and the design of the arm goes all the way down to the ankles. And his feet look his feet look really awesome. His like shoes. He's got shading in there. Overall, this figure is really awesome. But to get it, this is a really expensive figure. I got this as like a lot with a bunch of other figures. So it wasn't that expensive when I got it. But buying this thing alone is like seventy to a hundred dollars. It's pretty crazy. Here he is next to some of the other figure art zeros that I've reviewed. There's Goku, Gotenks, Piccolo, and Vegeta. And I will review the the Spirit Bomb Goku, the Super Saiyan Goku, and the Frieza over the upcoming days. Okay, so that's the end of my review. And if you like these reviews, tell me in the comments that you do. And I'll keep on making them. And thank you for watching. Bye.